Hi friends, it's Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my TBR for the stay at home reading rush round that is happening starting today and it goes until the 19th. A Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday deal. So like a weekend um, round and it's just to kind of bring the community together and read and um, about staying home during this difficult time um, if at all possible but um, this TBR also comes with a tag so I thought that was kind of fun and I thought I could answer those questions as well and then we will get into the TBR at the end because it is part of the actual tag itself. I thought were a really good idea and they all center around like home and reading and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and jump into the questions. The first one is how is your reading going while staying at home? I recently kind of had a revelation. I felt like I wasn't reading as much as I should or could, but I have to give myself some allowance um, during this time and really practice going with the flow which I on most days do a really good job of. I have extreme anxiety and if I overthink things, I can really spiral. So I was being really hard on myself with my reading because I was budgeting my time other places. But when I sat back and thought about it logically, like I'm able to do when I can take a step back sometimes, is um, Monday through Friday, I would normally be at work from the time I wake up Typically, I'd be getting ready and then going straight to work um, until about 4 p.m. So on those days, I wouldn't be getting any reading done either. And then normally I do my reading at night before bed, and I'm still doing that reading before bed thing. Plus, I'm doing the live show on Jacqueline's channel at We Be Bookin' on Thursdays at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, reading with friends for a solid hour. So I'm actually getting more reading done, but I feel like I should be getting more done. So how is my reading going while I'm staying at home? It's going normal-ish. <laughs> um, second question, where have you been reading at home? I have two main reading spots. Um, my bed is in my bedroom is one. That's like my main reading spot because like I said, I read before bed. But if my husband is playing video games or we're waiting on something to cook for dinner or something like that. I have a really nice comfortable papasan chair which I curl up in and make a little nest and read in there. Next question, best book you've read during isolation? Unfortunately, I think that's part of the problem is I haven't really read anything good in a while so that's unfortunate. Um, my isolation didn't start until much later. So I haven't been in isolation like too, too long. It hasn't even been a month yet. Um, what's your favorite feel good book? Um, feel good books. Hmm. I don't know what my favorite feel good book is. Because I guess like a feel good book is different for everybody. Like what makes you feel good? Let's go look, shall we? I think that Jen Bennett does some really feel good YA contemporary stories. Um, like Starry Eyes was really feel good. Um, I also really like, oh, like The Bride Test. That was a feel good book. Um, Let's see what else. Yeah, Alex Approximately, Serious Moonlight. These are feel good books to me. Um, but also books like Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating. That's a feel good book. Um, what else? Oh, this is a good one. This is a good example. The Green Glass House. This is a really good middle grade feel good book. Um, let's see if I can pick out. Oh, obviously Harry Potter is a really good feel good book. Um, Hunger Games, I feel is like a feel good. They're feel good books because they're like nostalgic. Um, other feel good books. Oh, yeah. The To All the Boys I Love Before trilogy. Those are feel good books. 
this uh, cheese sweet home cheese sweet home part one love this manga I love it especially that it's like left to right and from the front to the back um, oh another one is Anne of Green Gables that's a really good feel-good book I feel like um, another one Oh, well, let me see. Oh, this is a feel-good book. If you love fall, you'll love pumpkin heads. Eats was really adorable. The Babysitter's Club is really cute. They're really fast. I read, like, the original series. Not all of them, but um, I used to read those all the time. But, yeah, these really cute those are some really good feel-good books at least in my opinion um anything like nostalgic for my childhood is nice um nothing when the stakes are like too high except for like the hunger games but the hunger games is just like so nostalgic so book you wish you could buy or borrow from the library um the bromance book club i know a lot of people or a lot of my friends or people that i follow and chat with um have either read it and rated at five stars or four stars and, or are reading it right now. Allie, I'm talking about you. Um, yeah, and I just, I think that I would really love it. So I really want that book. And it's a book that kind of, I never really thought I would get into, but a lot of people are loving it. An author you want to shout out during this time. Um, I definitely want to shout out Penelope Douglas and Kit Frick. They're two authors that I recently did author taste tests from. Um, and I know Penelope Douglas is really like out there and people sometimes they'll either like love or hate her books. But I think they're you're if you're into the a little bit darker kind of romance stories with a little bit of maybe like taboo stuff. Um, stuff that you won't read in like contemporary romance. Um, I definitely think you should give her a try, but a white author that I think is writing really cool uh, characters and stories and ideas is Kit Frick. Um, and I know a couple of you said that you had never heard of her before, so you were glad that I kind of did that video. Um, she does have a book coming out later this year. Um, I Let me check when it comes out. I have my list right here in my bullet journal um it comes out in june june 2nd i killed zoe spanos is supposed to come out but if you're looking to try out her writing and i did kind of find like a formula that she likes to follow um if you're looking for that before you jump into the her newest release i highly recommend you check her out so i'm gonna go with kit frick because i know like she's not like one of those super popular authors but i think she has a chance to be so check her out last question is is what is on your reading rush tbr and i have two books on my reading rush tbr i'm currently reading the guest list by lisa foley and i want to read beach read by emily henry both of these were my april book of the month picks um obviously i got this because it's a thriller and this was one of my most anticipated books of the year so i'm really excited to have both of these in my collection um what challenges they fit a book with a house on the cover is the guest list it has a house right here on top of this island um this is a story about a couple that are getting married and they decide to have their wedding on this remote island in ireland and all their guests come and it's told from six different perspectives someone dies and you're trying to find out who done it who is it and it's flashing back in time like from the day before when the guests are arriving and it's told like i said it's told from the six different perspectives and we haven't even found out like who's died yet just that there's been like an accident or something so yeah i'm currently reading this enjoying it it reminds me a lot of the show harper's island that was on cbs a while ago but i was obsessed with that show and watched it with my parents all the time um so i am enjoying this um a book in the same room the whole time since i have been i've already started this i've kind of been bouncing around where i've been reading this so i'm gonna have to choose beach read for that um read a book set somewhere you wish you could go the beach or 
Ireland, either one, good choice, but specifically the beach and a book that will make you smile. Hopefully beach read. Let's go ahead and read a little synopsis. Um, Augustus Everett is an acclaimed author of literary fiction. January Andrews writes best-selling romance. When she pins a happily ever after, he kills off his entire cast. They're polar opposites. In fact, the only thing they have in common is that for the next three months, they're living in neighboring beach houses, broke and bogged down with writer's block. Then one hazy evening, one thing leads to another and they strike a deal destined to force them out of their creative ruts. Augustus will spend the summer writing something happy and January will pen the next great American novel. She'll take him on field trips worthy of any rom-com montage and he'll take her to interview surviving members of a backwoods death cult, obviously. I'm excited. I'm excited about this one and I am enjoying this one. So those are what I plan to read over the next coming days. Um, I wasn't going to like officially like participate, but I wanted to answer the questions and these are my reading plans coming up anyway. So I just thought I would let you know. Um, I don't quite know if I'm vlogging yet, but I want to try. That is my plan. I'm going to try. So cross your fingers, hit the like button if you want me to try vlogging. And yeah, it starts today as I'm posting this video. So wish me luck. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in another video very soon. Let me know what you plan on reading during this stay home reading rush and I'll see you guys again in my next video.